Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Finally, our second video for our Shein Halloween haul is going to be pajamas and lingerie. There were a lot of costume options, but I didn't feel like they were diverse enough. A lot of them were all the same. They all had like that mesh see-through like bat print and I really didn't want to get everything just all in bats. So I kind of like just narrowed it down to like maybe one thing that had bats on it and then another thing that was actually like kind of a costume but it was still lingerie. I wouldn't suggest wearing it out in public because again this is more like bedroom lingerie. So we're going to start out with the pajamas first which are all Halloween um, pajamas. These are all different than the ones I've gotten in the past and I try to make them as different as possible, different patterns, different colors. I actually have one on right now. It's kind of like a um, like a pumpkin like night dress. I also want it to be different. Instead of just doing like all two pieces, I got like long pants, crop tops, and night dresses. And actually, some of these I even got in a plus size because although they had them in plus, they didn't have them in like the regular sizes in this video. Um, along with like our clothing haul which is going to be our next video and I'm going to you know do like a typical spin for you guys so you guys can see um, what each dress each outfit looks like all the way around yeah let me get to it and then I'll show you guys this one too this one actually has like the jack-o-lantern like faces on the sleeves which I think is so cute so different and they're full length I think I got this one in a um large or extra large everything i've gotten i believe was all a large because that's what i always stick to large just to be safe because baggy on me is perfect because sometimes over baggy fits better than underestimating what your sizing could be so yeah and then this is what the front says it's always halloween and then it says inside my head at the bottom and since this is actually like full length it goes almost to my knees pretty much. So you need it right here. Even if I lift my hands all the way up, it's still like mid thigh. But I have shorts underneath, so I could totally sleep in this. Okay, so let me put on all the other outfits and I will do a spin around for you guys. All right, so as you can see, I have sizings um, for every outfit on the bottom left. And I'm also going to include my measurements. Also, this information will be below in the description where you can find the sizing, the link, and also my measurements again. This is the first outfit. Um, it was more like a styled romper. It was kind of a satin material. It was comfortable. I think maybe I could have gotten away with the bigger size, but I think because I had clothes underneath, it fit a little weird. And I did wear the straps a little different just because... I really didn't want to go through the hassle of putting everything on, but the straps are adjustable just in case you're wondering to make it shorter or make it longer. Now for this outfit. This was definitely one of my favorites and very similar to an outfit that I had bought last year. Same color, same patterns, but the material was different. This material is a lot stretchier. It's a lot better. I'm glad I went with the plus um, size just because the top is cropped. And as you can see, my natural waist is above my belly button. Um, even if I do wear it below that, it doesn't fall. It fits really, really good and it's super comfortable. Definitely one of my favorites so far. And plus, it definitely reminds me of like that pastel goth kind of style. This one. This one was definitely giving me that Halloween vibe. Very similar to the other outfit. It's orange with the bats all over. The top is still cropped and it's that really soft, um, like buttery soft kind of material. The shorts are also really stretchy just like the pants as you can see. But no matter what, I don't have to worry about it falling. And the elastic around the waist isn't like that really cheap elastic either. The material isn't see-through unless you're really trying to, you know, stretch it and see through it. Then maybe you might see that white material underneath. 
But that's really about it. I really like this one. I love the orange. This one was definitely a miss. And I don't know if you've noticed, but in my last video, I had left these orange heart emojis. Those are going to be the items I will be putting in my Halloween giveaway. So pay attention to everything that's got a heart on it because those are going to be the items that you'll be getting. And I think I might include some of Halloween outfits from last year that I still haven't even worn. This one was definitely not my favorite though. Okay, so for the next two, I definitely could have gone down in sizing, mainly because the top was a lot bigger than I anticipated. The shorts fit perfect on both colors that I got, but the top, of course, they were a um, crop style and the waist and underbust of the top were cinched in elastic material. It was very loose fitting, but the straps are adjustable, which is a really, really good thing. I did not hate the outfit whatsoever. I did not hate the material. It was really nice, very flowy, and that lacy accent just gave it a perfect touch. I will say, I know I said I wasn't going to do like a bunch of bats, but now that I'm doing this voiceover, I noticed that everything I bought had bats on it, but it seemed to be the theme of Shein. Everything had bats on it. If it wasn't bats, then it was pumpkin so forgive me there wasn't really a lot of option everything was very similar and so I kind of went with a more colorful approach this year but next time I am definitely going to pay attention to the patterns I promise by the way with these tops the one that I'm wearing that's this red matching with this um, dark green. It's, it's actually like a forest green, but I know on camera, it looks almost kind of blue. Um, it has adjustable straps. And so right now I'm kind of just wearing it right out of the bag. Um, I think these were plus size. I'd have to double check. I will link everything in my description box like I did with all, the, yeah. So this one, this and this one, these were only plus size and this came in 1XL. I still like it. I don't mind that it's baggy at all. And like the underbust part is long enough and it's also really stretchy. I would probably just like shorten the strap and that's about it. Um, when it comes to washing all of these, since this material is a lot better than what it used to be, I would definitely like machine wash these like gently um, just so you don't like ruin the fabric or anything like that. So now I'm gonna move on to my very last. Um, I think this one is a pajama dress, so. Okay, here we have a night dress. And I have to say, I totally underestimated the fabric and cuteness of a lot of these Halloween night dresses. I think I'm just gonna do a video with mostly the night dresses next year because I'm definitely an oversized t-shirt kind of girl and these are perfect. They're super stretchy and so comfy to sleep in, like literally. I, I freaking love this one too. This one was the cutest print and no bats this time. All right, I'm back. Now we're gonna go over laundry and you guys were probably thinking that I was gonna put it on for you guys, but guess what, I'm not. I'm actually gonna hold it up for you guys and then insert like a picture right here that'll show you what it looked like on the model because one of them is a little too risque for YouTube and the other one is just like plain see-through and I'm not even really gonna try and put it on right now. I bought these for different purposes, hence the word lingerie. Um, this one was really, really cute. It has like this Chinese style like collar at the top and it's actually really stretchy. It's a mesh, like a really, really clear mesh material and it has the bats on them let's see and I, I don't know how long this is let's see let me put this all the way up okay so it's about it's about the same length as like my little pajama dress and it actually has like the slits on the side I think both sides actually yeah, and it's got a little tag in here for the sizing. Let me see what size. So I got this in a size large, which 
I wonder how stretchy this is around the waist. Oh yeah, a, a large will definitely fit me. Um, I'll leave my measurements. This is actually very, very stretchy. I probably could have even gotten away with a size medium. Um, I'll leave my measurements down below so that way you guys can use that as reference. I also have a Shein link. Uh, normally when I leave reviews on stuff, I put like all my measurements down below because it helps a lot of customers, other customers figure out what works best for them. And I know it helps me out a lot too when people like tell me what their measurements are and it, it's like a guide. And the next one actually comes with a little witch hat, which is so cute. Let's see, I'm gonna put this on. Oh okay, god, I feel like a little kid. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's pretty cute. And I'll probably just move my hair out of the strap there. Play around with it, make it a little... Hide that little strap. Actually, that's not a bad looking little witch hat. It's really cute. It has like these little lace details on the trim and it's a small lace hat or not a lace hat It's a small witch hat and I'm actually surprised that this top part is staying up because normally they never stay up for some reason They just don't this one. I'm not really sure how it works But let me move this camera up. So Because my feet are kind of tired. I think these are the bottoms because the bow goes in the f whoa. Oh no, this is the top. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of like a halter top in a way. So your neck goes through there. Wait a second, where do, wait, hold on. Where do the legs go? Wait, was this a skirt or was it a short? I don't remember, I'm gonna have to like put the picture up and look at it. This is a size small. I think they only came in like a one size fits all kind of thing, but this is the like the really stretchy like this it'll stretch. <sighs> I think this was a skirt. Or no, no, this was the top. This is the top because definitely this goes around the neck and the bow goes in the front. And I think this one is the bottom because I'm looking for those leg holes. I feel like an idiot doing this. Yeah, these are the bottoms. Okay, we got the little leg holes right here. Right there, and that's the bottom part. And so, yeah, it's like a little panty. I know this will definitely fit me because, you know, I mean, I, I got shorts on, so I guess I could show you guys what it's supposed to look like. Should I? I feel like I'm gonna look really ridiculous doing that, but yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna do that. But let me turn this around. So, yeah, this is like the front part. Legs screw through here, go through. And yeah, it's like underwear. And it comes with like a little like bow collar that's on the kitchen table. And so, yeah. That's pretty much it for our Shein Halloween pajama and lingerie unboxing. I hope you guys liked that first one because it was actually kind of nice to like go through all that jewelry and all the other accessories that I found, which were really cute. I haven't really had the chance to wear any of the ones I got last year because, you know, the divorce and changing of a lot of things. So I hope I can wear some of it this year. Actually, I will be wearing some of it this year because it gets cooler early here in Washington, which is really nice. And I'll definitely be wearing these like different pajamas like every night because I live for pajamas and I sleep with clothes on. So, well nights that are that it's cold but yeah um i hope you guys enjoy this video i know this one's gonna be a little bit shorter but the next one might not be a short i'm not really sure yet it depends on how much stuff i've got i know i did get a lot of clothes got some dresses i got some sweaters but you guys are gonna have to wait to see that video um when i record it so i will see you guys next time in another video until then Happy October and almost Halloween. Goodbye.